Hello lads, it's me, Benny. Back again with another Paragzai video, yeah! Today we're showcasing one of the common spirit scaling vault standing shrift. This is... The Duality. Duality is a ink based light and dark type of uh, shrift. It can be a really strong shrift and a really weak one at the same time, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'll first cover the shrift and then after it I'll cover vault standing and then I'll show gameplay of, you know, both of those moves. Alright, so let's uh, let's start. Alright, so first move is called Dark and Snarl. If you look over here, shoot ink onto the floor, allowing you to buff the damage of other duality moves with ink. Uh, this move buffs the damage of other duality moves. That's basically what it does. It's a very low cooldown move that just allows you to spread ink around the area. It's almost a necessity for the other moves as well. Next move is called Empiral Assault, which is this thing right here. And go for self in light and charge at your enemy to attack them. Infuse this move with ink to deal increased damage and, and have increased range. The move scales with spirit and the ink on the floor. So the more ink you have, the more stronger this move will be. Next move and last move is White Singularity. Shoot out an arrow of light that exposes into a beam of light on impact with the ground. Infuse it with ink to give it increased damage and range. That that's all the moves for Shrift. Uh, let me showcase you those real quick. Let me just get down here. You basically have two attacking moves and a, well, a whole, I wish this was support, but it's not. This is also an attacking, like a binding slot. It takes a regular binding slot for the ink thing, which is really stupid. It should be support, not gonna lie, because this is hard to, uh, you have a really bad set of moves here if you, if, yeah. So let's just showcase Dark and Snow. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Damn, all right, perfect timing. We got, we got, we got a volunteer. I right, move volunteers. All right, Dark and Snow. Do this and you see a bunch of ink spread around everywhere. This thing lasts, the ink lasts a really long time. But depending on the mastery, it will either disappear faster or just be there. And that's it, I can use the move again. A real low cooldown move. Next move is Empiral Salt. Use it. And a bunch of like, yeah, as you can see, a bunch, you basically just rush through and make a whole like a, uh, like if you go across the ink, a bunch of like white spheres will come out and start shooting towards people. If you use it without the ink, it is, I'll, I can show you how much. A little damage he'll deal. All right, I got it off cooldown. Let's just uh, use move. As you can see, I don't, I don't think I even hit them. That's how bad it is, bro. That move is oh, horrendous without ink. You need ink to use that move. And next move we have is White Singularity. I'll show it with ink so you can see the full result. This move is kind of hard to hit because it's a ranged move, but it's it shoots above them. And you have to like, let me just get some more ink. So I'll show you the full potential of this. Let's use it. And none of them got dragged in it because they all have evasives. Never mind. Let's try it again then. There we go. That's one evasive down. But they have two evasives for some reason. Why are why do Quincy have two evasives? There we go. This Quincy, the yet the blonde Quincy used both for evasives. Let's use the move now. And they dodged it. Oh my god. Are they out of I don't know if they're out of evasives or not. Oh, I dragged one. Uh, Alright, we're in Hueco now because these NPCs are better to fucking Oh my, I'm, just, I'm sick of Quincy's, bro. Let's just plant some ink. Throw this joint out. As you can see, that move deals an atrocious amount of damage. It deals, it can deal more damage as well. Depending on how much ink there's here, it can deal way more damage. Way more damage. That's that for the shrift. That's the three moves. Now let's go with the vault standing. It has two passive and it has an ult called the dark sun uh, the passives are when you dash like the first initial dash if you m2 as well ink will splooch everywhere passively so you will basically have ink everywhere the, you know if you just play the game the other passive is if you stand on top of any types of ink any like spot part you know patch of ink like this you have 50 percent damage reduction that's a really good passive you just always stay by your ink and you basically are unkillable that's a really good good passive to have and then the move called dark sun Form one ball made of light particles and another made of pure darkness and combine them to send an intense singularity of balance down a lane in front of you. This is hollow purple. <laughs> if you don't know, this is hollow purple, bro. Let's uh, let's give it a, let's give it a shot. There we go. Balance of God. Only, uh, I got some nice wings for this. This looks clean. I like it. Let's pop some ink because we need a lot of ink with this. Let's just M2. There we go. There we go, go, more ink, we need way more ink for this. There we go. Nice. Okay, so let's use on those two lads down there. Hello, purple. Oh, they got one shot. <laughs> oh, at least this guy did. I didn't think I hit the, no, I didn't hit this guy. I one shot this fella. Ma for do, ma, 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 ma for die. So yeah, that's uh, hollow purple. It's a regular, it's, 
A decently short cooldown. Problem is you need a lot, a lot of ink to use it. As long as I stand on ink, I am basically unkillable. I am basically unkillable. You can't damage me. You can't damage me. Look at the little damage he does. Six damage per tick. That's nothing. That's not. I did. Matter of fact, take this hollow purple to your face. Uh, I like that move. I like that move. Now that I have showcased vault standing, let's fight my vault standing boss or whatever. Hold on. I, I'm actually hover over the things. I forgot to hover. Here's how we go. Standing over ink puddles gives you 50% damage reduction against most sources. And your dash is spread ink around. It doesn't say. I don't know why it just says dash. Your M2 also spreads ink. Like, look at this. I don't know why it says that, but hey, man. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. Oh yeah, that means fucking he will also use duality shit on me. I forgot. That means a lot of ink will be spread across everywhere. And I'm fucking... Ooh. Oh, more ink? Okay. Ah! Dodge that shit. Okay. Oh, that shit block breaks? Interesting. I didn't I didn't know that block break. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, more ink. Uh oh, not good. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked... Hold on, can I use this? One time? I, I, I whiffed it, I whiffed it, I whiffed it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I use this? There we go. Woo! Big da uh oh Oh, yeah. Ready like an open book, buddy. There we go. Use this. Where do you go? There you are. See, not gonna lie. We are popping vaults. We are popping. We need to pop vault right now. I need my. I need my 50% damage reduction. I'm on. Luckily, I'm on fucking. I'm on ink still. Yeah, I don't know if the enemy ink will also count for this, but I'll take it if so. I'm on an ink. I'm on an ink. Let me get back. Ah, stop it. I'm taking no damage. I take no damage, buddy. Where is he? There you are. Oh. Pop more ink. And while he's popping vaults, uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit and then. Waste of that, not gonna lie. Hollow purple. Please hit it. Nah, no, missed. Alright. That move is easy to hit. I mean, miss. Because it's kind of similar with Chaos Beam. Easy to miss. But it's. At least you can aim it for longer than the Chaos Beam. So, that's all fine. Ah! Yeah, bastard! Canceling my shit. Wait, this one will take forever because we're both on ink. I gotta. Uh oh. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, so that move just is a will always hit no matter what. Okay, maybe that's why it's so good or so bad. I mean, it's still bad. I don't like the move at all. It deals no damage whatsoever. This can hit. Oh, here you go. All right, ready like an open book. Ah. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. The fire! Ah, oh. Oh. No. No. Oh. Dang it. Hold on. I need, I need to get my money back. So yeah, that is the duality. The boss fight. And I didn't win it though, unfortunately. But um, I'm not used to it, we could say. The vault. The vault makes it really good. The duality. Problem is, it's, the moves are... Especially the, the fight singularity. This move is so hard to hit. I think the only time you can hit it is when you combo it with the, the assault move. Because I had no idea it got broke until now. B basically, this move... It's a guaranteed hit, always. It will always hit the target. You just have to have ink close by and you have to use it on ink. That's how to make it good. Okay, well, that's that for the duality. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you liked it, of course. Drop a thumbs up if you did like it. Uh, leave a comment if you have something to say. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.